Hello folks, I wanted to share a little golden nugget that I discovered the other day. It's called Blueprint CSS and it's a layout library. Now, some of you folks will be familiar with things like Bootstrap and uh, my own favourites, I like uh, Defiant these days, Milligram, Skeleton, Foundation, there's a whole bunch of them. But this thing is different because Blueprint is focused on the layout. And the layout is a huge problem. I was doing a shop for a client just yesterday with an items grid. And, you know, everybody watching this video knows how to do things like flex boxes and floats and maybe even the grid system. But the challenge is there's a lot of browser compatibility issues, media queries take ages, and it's just not much fun. It's slow, it's cumbersome, and it's temperamental. This thing is absolutely fantastic and I want to just demonstrate it very quickly. So, let's create a little web page, shall we? And on our web page, we'll have a div with a class of container, like this, okay? And I'm going to have a div here and I'll do asterisk 12. Let's have 12 of these little beauties, okay? Now, I'll just, for the purposes of speed, chuck a wee X in here. I'm going to save and refresh. Okay, so let's do some on-page styling. Now, if we're talking about the page body, I'm going to do a background colour of silver, which is going to give us that. And if we're talking about the container, let's give it a width of 1200 pixels, but a maximum width of 100% with a background colour Let's just say white, just for the moment, right? Now, if we want to center that, we can say margin, zero, auto, and you'll see that it jumps to the middle. Now, thanks to the max width thing, if I bring this in, you'll see that it, the width comes in with the page. So that's kind of cool. That's exactly what I wanted, right? Okay. Now I'm going to remove this white background colour, I won't need it just now, and I'm going to style the divs inside the container. So we say dot container, div, and for each of those divs I'll say background colour white. Now you know why I took it out there right above. So I'm going to say background colour white, I'm going to say border, one pix grey solid, and how about if we say minimum height maybe 120 pixels. Okay, save and refresh. And there we go. Now, there's no surprises here. We know that by default, HTML pages stack divs one on top of each other. And I know that everybody's watching this saying, I already know, I already know Flexbox, I already know the grid system, I know this, I know that. But stay cool, because you've never done grid layouts as fast and as gracefully as what I'm about to show you. I am going to head over to blueprintcss.dev. I'm going to go to the documentation. I'm going to copy one line of code here. It's going to link me to a little style sheet, right? There we go. Then I'm going to go to where this container is, and I'm simply going to say BP equals, uh, let's have in quotations, grid. Uh, let's say three. Gonna save it and let's refresh and hallelujah, won't you have a look at that? It's fantastic, Ola, folks. How quick was that? How easy was that? Now, if I was to say something like grid four, it gives us three, three divs per row. So what's going on, you've probably figured it out, is it's assuming that the container has got a width of 12. 12 is an easily divisible number, by the way, which is why the frameworks like to reference 12 a lot, right? And so, what we're saying here is we're saying, hey BP, could you do a grid for me? And could you make the grid thing have divs, whereby all of the divs have got a width of four units? That's what's happening. Now, that's kind of a cool trick, but where it really gets cool is when you start talking about responsiveness. Because let's imagine we've got an items page like I was working on yesterday, right? 
and it's a big old page, right? Now, if it's a large screen, we might be happy to have six items on each row. So I am going to say uh, 2 at LG. I'm going to save and refresh. Here we go. And isn't that fantastic? So what just happened? I'm saying to it, look, if it's a large screen, can you please make each of the divs have a width of 2? But we can go on, check this out. I'm going to say, let's do 3 at uh, MD. That's medium. Let's go all the way. Why don't we say something like 6 at SM for small? Now, 6 is going to give us 2 divs, right? So I'll save that. I'm going to refresh. And watch as I bring this in, folks. Check it out. We have the 6. Here we go. That's us on a medium screen now. So it has moved so that each of the divs have got a width of 3, which means 4 per row. And as we go in again, look at that, we've now got 2 per row. And by the way, if you go super tiny, it will automatically figure this out and just say, OK, there you go, 1 div per row. It's absolutely outstanding and look at all of the stuff we did not have to do. Look at it. Now, you take whatever you're doing. And ask yourself, can you achieve the same effect with as little syntax? I think this is an excellent thing. I'm going to be using it for everything. And I thought I'd just show it to you. Of course, there are a ton of other things that it can do. To do with alignment, spacing, you name it. It's all here. The thing I love best of all, you know, is the browser compatibility. This is Safari and nothing works on Safari for me. But look at this, even in Safari... It's all behaving gloriously. So this is something that is definitely saving me a lot of time. I'm going to be using this all the time, actually. I'm loving it, and I'm going to be using it in conjunction with something like Defiant, maybe Milligram and Skeleton. That's my own vibe. I wonder what yours is. But in any event, Blueprint CSS, highly recommended, and I'll leave a link in the description for you.